Hello everyone, Denise here. Uh, today I'm just bringing you a, sort of a, a Wednesday, what I'm doing, works in progress. My finished items are gifted, so I do not have them to show you. Uh, it is a blanket for our granddaughter. Um, I made one when she was born in one color and then um, created the one with the Premier Color Pack. And that tutorial will be coming out either tomorrow or Saturday. Uh, I have uploaded it. I need to make a thumbnail, um, fill in the, the information in the video. It's not, there's not too much work to do now, but uh, yeah, that one will be out soon. Friday will be a pay it forward Friday. Uh, the projects worked flat. Um, if you're not familiar with Paying It Forward Friday, it's something I started up last September, I believe it was August, September, um, to sort of motivate myself to make more items for charity. Uh, I feel like crocheting and knitting is a gift and you should share your gifts. And so I, I used to make prayer shells for our church and... I no longer do that. However, uh, I miss donating items uh, to charity. And uh, while I had done it off camera all along, I thought it would be a good way to motivate myself, um, get some interesting stitches on the channel and hopefully maybe possibly motivate you guys to have something to make for charity as well. So every first Friday of the month, I do a stitch worked up plait for like blankets, scarves, uh, dishcloths, whatever, uh, projects flat if you want to make hats flat and seam them up or cowls that way, um, fingerless gloves, possibilities are limitless, right? Uh, and then the second Friday in each month, I do that same stitch, but in the round. And that could be the form of a cowl or a hat, fingerless gloves, uh, you know, just depends on what, I don't know, what sparks my interest at the time. There's no set item I make. I just, you know, choose as I go. So this Friday will be the Paying It Forward Friday for July already. The giveaway was last Friday. Every Friday at the end of the month, I do a giveaway for the next month to help you guys out if you need yarn for making donation items. And that doesn't always mean like donating to charity. It could be donating to somebody you know that needs stuff. also gifts or donations if you look at it that way so just a sort of a vague premise to help us get motivated to donate items to charity and whatever we do along the way is also good so that will be this friday and the following friday flat and then in the round uh like i said i have that tutorial coming up of the blanket the soapy blanket and then I am working on a poncho using anti-pilling, uh, Premier anti-pilling butterfly. It's sitting on my desk up there. I am creating stitch markers right now. So I'm back here behind the scenes just talking to you as I work. Uh, I did a shop update. I'll show you that poncho in a second. I did a shop update with stitch markers. Making stitch markers is pretty therapeutic for me. I enjoy the process. I also love stitch markers. It's, I, I'm not a shoe person. I, I don't, I do have a lot of project bags, but I don't, I don't collect a lot of purses per se. Um, I have one pair of sunglasses. Uh, <laughs> Just thinking of the things that Summer had said in her video that she collects, but I don't, I don't really collect anything but yarn and beads and stitch markers 
is something that kind of goes along with that, but I do love stitch markers. I think they're very versatile. In the event that I never crochet or knit, which I will be dead, but I could use all of these for charms, earrings, whatever. So long story long, I updated the shop with a bunch of stitch markers because I enjoy making them. And I can't keep all of these stitch markers, so I thought maybe if I liked them, you would like them also. So there's uh, quite a bit in my shop. That's mostly what my shop is right now on Etsy. Uh, the B ones, can you see the B ones? No, you cannot. The B ones. It's 8 a.m. And that is, what is that one? That is a song sparrow singing a song at 8 a.m. Uh, the bee ones, uh, I did not put in my picture on the community page because they were not made yet. Uh, and then the ones that I'm making right now and I have just finished are adorable uh, snack chips snack bags, snack whatevers. Some are some I recognize, some I have no idea what they are because they are foreign, but they're really cute, really adorable. These are actually a great idea for like the right or wrong side of your work. Because they're a little bit larger these are not in my shop yet, but once I get pictures taken of them, uh, I will put them, put them up as a listing. I probably am not going to do them individually. Uh, individually, each listing on Etsy is 20 cents, whether or not you sell the item. So I don't know. I will probably pick a few that I think will sell or people will like and then go from there. Zoom you out if there's not too much of a mess here to look at. No, it's not terrible. So there's bugles, there's tattoos, which say they're corn chips, sweet potato chips, uh, something that say pink, potato chips, clover chips, Cheetos, roller coaster, Lay's, cracklings, and potato chips. Classic. Really cute. Cute charms. Uh, like I said, it's, it's pretty therapeutic for me to make them, so. Okay, so cleaning up my mess, I will show you my poncho. This is a clover with the Yarnology sleeve on it. And then I also had to wrap it with silicone tape. So look at me with all the issues. Uh, that actually works really well though. This is a poncho. Pretty simple repeat, uh, increasing at four different points. It can be a square neck like this or it could be a v-neck depending on how you wear it uh, it is made with the premier yarns anti-peeling butterfly which you see in front of you the colorway is riverbank it will take one cake uh, it will go pretty long on a smaller figure and it's not gonna go as long on me I can guarantee that uh, I don't know what size I am but I did measure myself and TMI maybe, but I am 48, 42, 52. Those are my measurements. So it's a pretty big hourglass, but uh, just to give you an idea of what I shoot for in my designs, um, that, that's recent, recently what I've been shooting for. On a figure like mine, uh, it's probably not going to go as long. I, I don't know what size I am at this point. I have... Um, when was it? 2021. 
uh, I had high blood pressure. Uh, went to the doctor. Doctor, I didn't know I had high blood pressure. I went to the doctor and found that out. But uh, put me on a low sodium diet. With that, I lost a lot of weight. I used to be 290. I'm wavering between 235 to 40 recently. So I've lost a lot of weight. Um, my measurements are 48, 42, 52. So I'm kind of an hourglass, but a larger hourglass, I guess, maybe a three or four hourglass. Anyway, um, so I shoot to design things based upon me. I know this will be great for a smaller figure. It will uh, have a lot of coverage for somebody smaller with the entire cake. I am not finished with mine yet, obviously, but um, I am to the gray. And this is what I have left of the gray. So I'm not far from being done. And it, it goes, I don't know, it goes down pretty far on me, but it's not like long poncho right now. It's, it's just getting to cover my chest a bit, so it could end up being a short poncho on me. In that event, I can always use my other cake because it's right there. So we'll see about that. Tutorial will be coming out for that soon. Uh, that's It's just something I've been working on for quite a while. Uh, same with the Sophie blanket. I had both of them started and really going pretty well um, design-wise. And then, you know, Bingo passed away, that's our dog. And so that has kind of slowed everything down that I've been doing. Um, tomorrow it will be two weeks, so it's just tough. Some days are better than others. And, and if you've ever had a pet that you were very bonded with, you will understand, and if you don't, you just don't until you have one. Uh, I I never had a pet that I was bonded with like this before Bingo. He was my dog. Uh, I never had a dog that was my dog before in my entire life. And I'm 53, so it's, it's pretty tough for me to uh, deal with him not being my bestie being there all the time and he was always he always followed me no, no matter if I was doing laundry or cleaning he would follow me from room to room to room to room he had to watch me everywhere I went he had to have eyes on me he got very anxious if he did not he was like a support animal but he was never trained as a support animal but he was my support so it's just been really tough and some, like I said, some days are just way better than others. Uh, some days I have a spring in my step and some days I just want to cry. So I guess that's par for the course. But, uh, but yeah, so it slowed me down f uh, for a lot of things that I've been doing. And just, you know, kind of put me in a daze. Uh, so I do have two designs coming out. This is the hat that I had started for our son. It's that best friend pattern that I did a tutorial on. It's knitting. Very basic hat tutorial. Um, something I started and I was going to give to our son weeks ago. Weeks ago. Did not yet. Um, it's made out of bamboo yarn, so or uh, Lyocell, I'm not sure which one. It's the Michaels Capri. And the ball band is not on there. So it's planned fiber regardless. And it will get done. I just need to motivate myself to. The sweater I had started with the Premier Yarns, the, the cool chunky ones. The Serenity Chunky Tweed is what uh, I'm using for that sweater. I have done nothing with that sweater. Absolutely nothing. Uh, it is too warm to think about making a sweater. Although today the high is in the 60s. So 
it would be a good day, but I have other things going. So I'm, I just put that on, I put it on a hard pause for now. Um, I got some happy mail. Uh, Christina, she's the crafty critter. She sent me a card, a uh, very cute card. Let me grab it. Cute little card. Oh, birdie on it. It brightened my day. It has little sparkles. I don't know if you can see them, but very sweet. Just a thank you. She had won the giveaway. Um, I was going to my P.O. box to get an order um, that I thought was canceled, and it showed up anyway. Uh, and I got her card, so thank you. I don't know if it's Christina or Christina, but either way, thank you so much for the card. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate your support, and all of you, whether you've sent me a card or not, I appreciate your support immensely on the channel. Uh, I am here because of you. I started the channel because I literally had no one to talk to about crochet and knitting, and, uh, there are people in my life who knit and crochet on and off, but no one has the passion for it like I do. Uh, it It is something I do every single day, and when I don't, I get cranky. So I don't want to be cranky. No one wants to be cranky. So I started the channel because um, I knew there would be somebody out there who would share the joy with me. So that's why we're here. So the order that I was not looking for because Timo had notified me they um, refunded me back for an order. It was only $11 and something because there was a shipping problem. So, you know, I, I was like, all right, well, you gave me the money, so I can't really complain, right? I guess I could reorder if I really wanted it. Um, I don't think there's any machinery going outside and I love to hear the birds. So I opened the window. So I got a notification that said my order was delivered. So I went to the PO box, surprised by the card and an order that I thought was canceled and not coming did. So, um, thank you Timu for refunding me for an order and then getting it to me anyway. The video that I will be showing you yarn and hooks in from Timu shortly, I guess is a sponsored video, considering I didn't pay for the content. Uh, it was refunded back to me, but this is the yarn. It is 100% wool and it's, I mean, it feels like wool, but it's very soft and nice. It reminds me a lot, a lot, a lot of the Chloe yarn, I think it is from Hobby Lobby. Not as nice, but it is nicer than I thought it would be. And then the hooks, let me move them into the frame here. The hooks are a set of sparkly crochet hooks. And the reason I wanted them was because the heads look like Clover Amore. So I'll be going over the hooks and the yarn in a video shortly, and I will upload that video so that you can see what I thought of those. Uh, the other thing, I was going to do was oh I went to Michael's uh, to get some more of that beautiful loops and threads with a sparkle in it remember I was kicking myself if you watched my uh, video of a new yarn from Michael's I got loops and threads facets and it has a uh, sparkle running through it which, you know, if you look at these really close at the store, you can see the sparkle is broken everywhere in here. Which is a complete bummer. And I didn't notice that when I bought it. See, you can see it like sticking out. Now, maybe you can't, but I can. Um, anyway, I forgave it for that and I picked up a couple of more of them. This is a different dye lot. And you can see that. But I think if you mix it in, it would be fine. It's so close that it's, you know, not even barely de detectable, but I can see it. And then I picked up uh, a new, new yarn to me, Loops and Threads. What is this? Tweed, Heathered Tweed. It's po a polyester blend. So I'll review that one shortly. 
And then uh, Lisa that I did the swap with, the first swap that I did in the Summer's Tips and Stitches group on Facebook, uh, she had gifted me Hobie yarn and uh, it's amazing. It's like, I haven't worked it up, but it's amazing. So I want to share those with you. So I'll probably put them all in one video uh, just to, I don't know, make better use of my time and your time. Uh, so Hobie, I have a Hobie review coming up. The Loops and Threads review, the Timu Yarn and Needles review. Um, oh yeah, I was going to show you. So I don't know if you know her. But she's a very sweet lady. I love watching her. She always makes me smile. Her name is Penley Ann's Creations. Adorable woman. Love this woman. Uh, I just, she's charming. She's just straight up charming. She showed a trick, and I think I've seen this before, but she showed a trick. Let me move the camera around here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so in my craft room, if I swing you around, then we will be directly in front of my ball winder. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. So I'm going to uh, switch you over. Close your eyes really quick if it makes you nauseous and excuse any mess you might see. Ready? Go. Okay. So... Maybe I can back up a bit. Okay, let me zoom out. Sorry if that's nauseating. I really, really am sorry. Okay. Quick update, since you're looking this way, right up here on my window. Remember I was using those um, vinyl stickers for flowers on my window. Guess what? I'm using fake flowers. I can move them. I can clean the window. It's working great. I'm using the the uh, the hook, the silicone hook holders to hold the flowers. Kind of impressed that I thought of that. Anyway, stop tooting my own horn here. I will put you back down so you can see what I'm gonna tell you. So Penley N Creations. She is funny. She's amusing and charming. And I've been watching her for I want to say, I don't know, years. Uh, she had a thing on her channel talking about toilet paper wrappers, right? I'm like, what? I think I have heard of this a long, long, long time ago. Never did it. So if you have a ball winder, and she said it fits really, really good on the Knit Picks one. Uh, it's a little loose on this one, and she said she used tape. So I was like, okay, I'll use some tape. And then uh, I use a tad bit of tape to keep yarn on that is slippery. This is from my color pack, uh, just one of the leftovers. So I'm going to use it to wind on the ball winder. And when I do that, I uh, tape the top so that it doesn't come out because that has been known to happen. And then this was her idea. Wind it on the toilet paper roll so that you have a nice center to your yarn. If your yarn is soft, we all know this. If your yarn is soft, it's going to cave in. And then I end up untangling it a few times when that happens. So with this idea, it not only stores it better, but it keeps it from caving in and creating a headache for you. Now she didn't show this on her channel, so I'm not stealing content or, you know, super copy copy, but uh, she, she mentioned the idea. So I thought I would show you, cause I tried it once and it worked like a dream. So when I got to this part, I had to take the tape off. You might not have to tape yours but it was pretty loose on mine.
that off. And then what I did, which was, she didn't mention this, but you know, this has two slits in it to keep the yarn in, right? So why not? To keep your starter positioned. I should have went deeper with that, but you get the idea. And then you can store it way easier than just like this loafy ball of yarn that's going to unravel and tangle. I could also put them back in the box like this. So I went around and for a few days now, I've been gathering up toilet paper rolls, which, you know, is not something I usually do, but hey, for a purpose, I sure will instead of throwing them out. Then I can stack them in here. A great way to do your ends, I thought, uh, to keep them tidy and not annoy you with retangling over and over and over. So that is just something I thought I would share with you in case you don't follow Penley Ann's creations. Penny Ann, I believe is her name. And uh, that's her channel. So I'll link her below. I'm gonna turn you back around, by the way. That um, scent warmer, Walmart, love it. You can put whatever message on it you want. And in my craft room, I do soft cashmere and amber because I love the smell. So just thought I'd share that with you as well. I'm gonna turn you back around. So uh, that is just an update on what's been going on in my life um, besides uh, our dog passing and me being slow going with uh, creating things for the channel. You know, I do, I, I am not the breadwinner in the family and my husband works very, very hard to support us. And so it's just an understanding between us that I, I pretty much carry the brunt of everything at, in the house and uh, the, our homing pigeons and whatnot. It's not that uh, he won't help or doesn't help. It's that 95% of the time I'm doing it all. And so our lawn has been crazy. We have received so much rain and it's been, it's been really nice, but it also makes the grass grow like crazy. So, you know, yard work and taking care of the entire house and all of the things also take up my time. So, um, it's just, for now, right now, it's just a little bit slow going. So I have less content coming out than I usually do. And I will apologize for that, but I, I'm not saying I'm beating myself up for that. I'm just saying, this is why. Um, and I know you understand, you guys are awesome. And you, you're never, you're never like ever mean or, you know, <laughs> you're never terrible. So I appreciate all of you and all of the very sweet messages you gave me on my community post about bingo. Thank you very much. Very sweet. Um, and also with our granddaughter being born, you guys are awesome. You're just very supportive. So I just wanted to update you on everything and let you know content is coming. I'm just slow. I'm just so slow. And it's okay to be slow sometimes. Sometimes we have to. And, uh, yeah, there's reasons. It's not that I'm, I'm ducking out. I, I have things going on. Um, so take a look in my shop if you're interested. If you aren't interested in stitch markers for you, maybe, um, gift for somebody. These are, I want to say these are my favorite out of everything. I just love the pastels lately, and uh, I don't know. They're so cute. I didn't make a set for me. I, I think I made one extra for me of these. So, so cute. So cute. I love them. And then my second favorite, probably, are the blue ceramic ones. They remind me of my grandma. Hardcore remind me of my grandma. 
And then my other favorites would be the pink because it's so pretty. So, so pretty. I love them. I want to use them all at once. I wish it was socially acceptable to just wear like charms all over. <laughs> Uh, I can't pierce my earrings that many times, but they are so cute. I don't even wear earrings. I have I have two on one side and one on the other side because when I was, I got my ears pierced when I was very young. Uh, and the second set, you know, you did one and then if one was enough, you did one above it. One ear, they shot it wrong. And so it hurt so bad when I would put earrings in it because it was crooked, that uh, I just let it close. So I have two in one ear, one in one ear. Uh, I never wear earrings. I do have earrings. I just really, really rarely wear them. Uh, but I like these sets that I have created. They're all very cute. Like I said, I just can't use them all. These are also larger, so they'd be good for like marking your side or an increased side, uh, increased round, like I'm doing on my poncho. I do have stitch markers in my shop that say increase on them. Increase and decrease. They're a little different than these, but that's how I've been keeping track of which round that I increase on. Um, so, I don't know. Go take a look at the shop if you want. If not, that's cool. I, you know, I, I, it's not like we're in dire need of money, but extra money always helps. Always, always, right? You know this. These are some that I got that I thought were too pretty. They're like a soft plastic. They're larger also, but I just, I'm just addicted to switch markers, I guess. I love them. So I think that's it for updating you on content, what's coming, what's going on, how I've been doing, I guess my weight loss, I don't know. It's not like I meant to talk about that. I just want you to know what size I am so that you can understand the size that I'm aiming for when I'm making items. Uh, I typically try to make items that will fit everybody and adjustable to everybody. So if you know what size I am, let me know, because I don't know. Uh, it seems like when I look on websites, every single one is completely different. I have no idea. No idea. Uh, I, I wear clothes that are far too large for me, and uh, I like that. And some, some are really large sizes and some aren't, so I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. My husband would say I'm the perfect size. And that's all that matters to me, is that the one that I love, loves me for who I am. Uh, whatever else anyone thinks of me is not my business. I learned that from Kristen Omdahl. So I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what you think of my body or my weight or anything to do with that, because I don't know you and it doesn't matter in my life. Um, and I hope you feel the same. I hope, I hope other people's opinions don't affect you terribly because it's a, it's a great burden to hold other people's opinions. So in high regard, you know, in high regard in your mind, because they don't live with you and they obviously don't care about you if they're being judgmental. So it's one thing to be healthy and all that. But there's another thing to be said for just hating on people for their size. And I'm not, I, I don't care what size you are. I don't care what nationality you are. I don't care what language you speak. I don't care how you walk. I don't care what you drive. I don't care where you live. If you are decent to me, I'm decent to you. So that's just how I roll. I will always greet you with kindness. I always will speak to you in kindness until something happens to change that. And then typically I just won't speak to you because I was raised, don't say something at all if you can't say something nice. So this is just how I am. So update on life, update on projects, uh, update on content. 
I think I got it covered. So look for Friday, the paying it forward stitch made flat. I have no idea what I'm making. I have nothing made. I have no stitch uh, designed or picked out. Wish me luck. Um, uh, following Friday will be in the round. I always figure it out. I do best under pressure. So deadlines come and I somehow make it happen. And I saw a post somewhere that said, procrastination has led me to get to getting the things needed to be done on time. So I guess it wins <laughs> or something. I don't know, but it's true every time. And uh, that's just how I've been my entire life. I will put off until I need to do, and then I do. So look for that Friday, this Friday, coming up Friday, two tutorials coming out. One is a blanket, one is a wearable, and then review videos. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate any time you click on one of my affiliated links. I appreciate anything and everything you do. But most of all, I appreciate you for being here and being a part of this channel. And yeah, thank you. So with that, I will let you go. And until next time, guys, happy makes. Take care. Bye.